question number one a square prism of 30 mm side and 50 mm length is lying on the ground plane on one of its rectangular faces in such a way that one of the square face is parallel to and 10 mm behind picture plane the station point is located 60 mm in front of pp and 40 mm above ground plane the center plane is 50 mm away from the axis of the prism towards the depth draw the perspective view of the prism this perspective system is similar to the third angle system the object is situated behind picture plane so first we will draw the picture plane in the top view in the top view the picture plane will appear as a line picture plane is the vertical plane if you look from the up it will appear as a line now this square prism is resting on its rectangular face one of the square faces is 10 mm behind picture plane so if you draw the top view this will be 30 mm so that is mentioned here and length is 50 mm that is mentioned here so the top view of the square prism will be a rectangle having 30 mm and 50 mm size and we have named in such a way that the friend friend it is bottom point is 1 that is in bracket another bottom point is 2 this is 2 that is again bracket and above that 3 then 4 and behind at the bottom A P that is why it is in bracket then above that C and this is D So that is the top view. Now we will draw the front view in line with the top view. So just projecting from this point, just project from this point to bottom, project from this point to bottom so that at a convenient place in a paper, you draw the first you draw the ground line. This line is ground line, so it is marked here. So projecting from the top, you are getting the front view so this is this is this is these are the four points so we know that one dash two dash three dash four dash will be the front square face and a dash b dash c dash d dash will be the rear square face now what you have to do is the location of the station point and this is the center plane Stay, see this is the center plane center plane is the plane which is perpendicular to the picture plane and the and the ground plane through the station point so we had to locate the station point so station point will be on the center plane where is the center plane center plane is 50 mm towards left and it is 60 mm in front of the picture plane so this is the picture plane 60 mm in front 50 mm towards left of the center of the prism this is the this is the center line of the prism from that you have to take 50 towards left 60 in front so you are locating the station point this is the station point now corresponding to that station point has to be located in the front view also that is of course it is 50 mm towards left and it is 40 mm from the ground line this is the ground line station point is 40 mm above so this is sp dash front view of station point is marked as sp dash the next step is that all these four corner points all four all these four edges eight eight corner points that is this four four corner points the top and four at the bottom has to be joined with the station point so from here you join from here you join from here you join all the four corners actually eight corners so d and a coming from d at the top a at the bottom and it appears as the picture plane at a d1 a1 this is b at the bottom c at the top 
picture and those that line pairs as the picture plane at b1 c1 then this is one at the bottom four at the top that pairs is at one one four one point this is the two at the bottom three at the top pairs at two one three one point all these points are joined with sp and at the same time in the front view we have to join a dash 1 dash to sp dash b dash 2 dash to sp dash 4 dash d dash to sp dash c dash 3 dash to sp dash now comes the last step process now if you want to find d and a in the perspective projection project from d if you want to find the point d in the perspective projection project from d downward and d will be obtained d will be obtained on the line on the intersection of the line from d dash to sp dash so this is the intersection point so this point is coming from this d1 this point is coming from this d1 so this point is coming from this d dash so this is the so it has to be marked with the capital d similarly a same point a is coming from here now it's coming from a dash it is coming so this is capital a similarly b and c will be coming and it is b1 c1 project downward project downward and from c we will be drawing lines to the left so this is the point c and b from b the line is coming so this is the point capital b all the points are to be marked using capital letters now one two three four how we will find out from one and four it is coming to this point so from there this point is of importance one and four line meets the picture plane line at one one and four one from that point from those points we have to draw downward so that here you are getting one the line drawn from one to sp dash intersects the line project coming from top at one and this is the point four four is drawn to sp dash that intersects the line coming from the top so four point then how to locate the other point two and three two and three meets here so draw downward and from this point two we are drawing two sp dash that meets here so this is the point two and from three towards left to sp dash so from the top projector it meets here so this is the point three now we have to join all those points d a one two three four one four d a one a three c d c and the rear edge a b dotted b c dotted b2 dotted b2 dotted so this one this one this one this one this one is the and this is the perspective projection of the question